Hello everyone. In this video, we will do a demo on how to set up Azure ATP and also see what Azure ATP is. So Azure ATP now has been renamed to Microsoft Defender for Identity by Microsoft. Azure ATP is a solution to identify identity threats in the traditional on-premise AD environment. So this is for organizations which are using hybrid identities which have on-premise AD where you have identities created and they are syncing to cloud. This is not for the organizations where they do not have any domain controllers on-premise and then everything is in Azure AD. However, I don't think there is any organization like that, a big one at least, which has everything on cloud. Azure ATP is used to detect uh, attacks by compromised uh, identities. So Azure ATP is a cloud service which uh, gathers uh, data from on-premise domain controllers. So our on-premise domain controllers, they send uh, various event logs, uh, the network traffic which are, is hitting them, the user behavior analytics to Azure ATP cloud service. We can also set radius uh, VPN servers to send their accounting data to Azure ATP for analysis. Once Azure ATP gets all this data in the cloud, it uh, scans the data, it detects threats and malicious activities in it, and it alerts us. So how does it do that? So we first of all install sensors on domain controllers and they collect data from the domain controller. So sensors can only read the data, they cannot write it. Sensors can also be deployed on separate servers. So you, if you do not want to install the sensor on a domain controller, then you can install it on a standalone server. You can use port mirroring so that any traffic hitting your domain controller hits that standalone server. And then the data is sent to Azure ATP where it uh, uh, monitors the malicious activity, checks the event logs, also, Azure ATP monitors the activities against uh, groups with higher privileges, for example, domain admin groups. So we will see a demo of it. So if any modification is made in domain admin group, it alerts us, it sends us a report. As I also told you, it can be set up to receive radius accounting information from VPN provider. Let us see how the Azure ATP architecture is. So on a domain controller, you install a Azure ATP sensor or a standalone server and it passes the information to Azure ATP cloud service. Azure ATP cloud service uh, passes the information to Microsoft Cloud App Security. So you can use Azure ATP portal and also Cloud App Security portal. So in Cloud App Security portal, you can use the console, admin can see the activities and alerts in that. And Cloud App Security can be integrated with your SIM solution, your Azure Sentinel security graph. This all is part of uh, Microsoft Threat Protection. So the Microsoft Threat Protection includes uh, not only Azure ATP Cloud App Security, it also includes Endpoint uh, uh, Defender and also includes Office 365 Defender. Now let's see a demo of uh, Azure ATP, how to set it up and how to get started. So this is a part one of the video where we will just uh, show you how to set it up and get started with it. We'll make more videos and uh, deep dive into it. First of all, you will log on to portal.atp.azure.com. And as soon as you log in, you will get this uh, window. So you will click on create and create your Azure ATP instance. The instance has been created now. Here we will have to provide a username and password for a user which has read access to our forest. So just to be careful here that there might be a case that on some of the OUs, the security permissions are not correctly set and the user may not have read access. So always use a user account which has read access to all the OUs, all the objects in AD forest. I have entered the user ID. Now I will save the settings. The next step is to download the sensor setup, which we will install on domain controller. So I'm going to download it now. I have copied the sensor file to my domain controller and uh, extracted it. So this is the setup and this is the setting file, which will connect it to my ATP cloud service. So we will run the setup on the DC. The language is English, click on next. 
now it is detecting whether it's a domain controller or a standalone server so it has detected that it's a domain controller so that's why sensor is highlighted not the standalone sensor so i will click on next the installation path and the access key so the access key i will copy from my azure atp portal which is this one and paste it there i pasted the access key and clicked on install so now atp sensor is installing on dc the setup is complete back to the portal i could see my domain controller listed here and the service status is running i refresh the page and now it's showing me you have installed the azure atp sensor on one out of two domain controllers and the health is showing syncing now under updates section we can define whether we want a domain controller to restart when the sensor gets updated whether we want to do an automatic restart or delay the updates so here are the data sources directory service for which i already set up the account we can set up a radius accounting for vpn and also integrate it with windows defender atp so your azure atp monitors your domain controllers and your windows defender atp monitors your endpoints and when we integrate both of them we can leverage the full power of both services this is the cloud app security portal and under here if i go to alert so any alert generated by azure atp will be visible here to in the cloud app security portal also if i go under investigate and go under activity log here also i will see any activity performed in azure atp so they will be displayed here so this is how the integration of uh, cloud app security and azure atp work i went into my domain controller and uh, modified the domain admin account so let us see whether we get anything in the report or not because domain admin account is a sensitive account and modification to sensitive groups report so let us view that so i added two user accounts to that uh, group test one and test two user accounts so here i am getting the report that uh, test one and test two accounts have been added to domain admin group it's also showing you the events so these are the event ids which were generated on the domain controller which were forwarded to azure atp and based on that it created this report so this is how you will set up the azure atp there are other options like entity tag honey token accounts sensitive accounts groups which we will set up in our other videos so this was just a introduction video of azure atp and how to get it enabled and get it up and running so i will see you in my next videos please like and subscribe to my channel bye bye